from the footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you a 2010 NFL draft preview of the quarterback prospects. Now let's jump right into that list and see which quarterback I have going number one. Now let's take a trip down from the football game plan studios to the University of Oklahoma and check out Mr. Sam Bradford. This is a guy that's an intriguing prospect because he's coming off an injury, but when he was healthy, accurate passer, extremely accurate passer with good enough arms to look at that pop on the ball coming out there quickly. He can make all the throws. He reminds me a lot of Troy Aikman. If he clears medically, he could be a steal for someone in the first round. Look to be the first quarterback taken off the board. Second quarterback on my list, you want to take a trip from the studios over to South Bend, Indiana to look at Jimmy Clausen. Now, Jimmy Clausen is a guy that some people are high on, some people don't know where he's going to go, but I, I like Jimmy Clausen. I think he's a great quarterback, moxie, awareness, he's tough, he knows where to go with the football, he has good pedigree. Now, a question, this is coming from Notre Dame insiders, that he had a sense of entitlement, walked around with a little bit of arrogance, but I think he's going to do fine. Reminds me a lot of Matt Hasselbeck. He's, he's going to be awesome. Second quarterback off the board, I believe. Now, if you want to go down to uh, third quarterback, go out southwest to the University of Texas, Mr. Colt McCoy. Now, Colt McCoy is a guy that had tremendous production at Texas, good leadership skills. He's fast. He can run around the pocket. He keeps plays alive. And one thing that I like about him is his release. He Once he gets on that third, fifth, seventh step, that ball is coming out quickly. So that compensates for his lack of options. And I heard one person compare him to Jake Plummer, which is a good comparison because I think Jake, the, Jake Plummer was a good quarterback. You know, he just threw a lot of interceptions. But I think Colt McCoy is a guy that if you get him in the system, he's going to do well for you. Smart leader. Look at this. Mo mobility is key. Gets you in and out of bad plays. The guy, if he's if that shoulder is okay, he's going to be a steal for another team, probably in the second or third round. Now, my fourth quarterback on the list is a guy that some people have mixed opinions on, Mr. Tony Pike. You know, you look at Tony Pike, you got that tall bill, he's 6'6", slender guy, reminds me a lot of Jim Everett. He has some good pop on his arm, boom, fire that ball in that hole right there. But the guy, he also throws a lot of interceptions, so he, he can get rattled in the pocket and get happy feet just like Jim Everett. But I do I like his long-term his long term potential. He has a good arm, good accuracy. He has a he's a moxie quarterback as well too. So I like Tony Pike. Tony Pike will look most likely be the third quarterback off the board. Let's go over to Central Michigan. Dan Lefebvre, guy that's rising on draft boards. Here's a guy that's extremely mobile. Did a lot of good things for Central Michigan. Put that program on his back. You know, a guy that he runs that spread offense. So you wonder if he's, you know, can he read defenses on the run, on the fly? That is yet to be seen, but he has all the tools, arm strength, accuracy. Look at that mobility right there. Make that guy miss a hole. And he is a tough quarterback. And you want guys like this on your team because he's a good leader. Guys love to play for Dan Lefebvre all four years, a starter at Central Michigan. Here's another intriguing prospect over to West Virginia and Mr. Jared Brown. Reminds me a lot of Aaron Brooks, guy that played for the Saints as well as for the Oakland Raiders. Good arm strength, excellent size. One year start, starting at the University of West Virginia, backed up Pat White. But this guy has some 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 tools, some real potential. He's not finished, so he's going to be able to be coached. So look at that arm strength. Look at that accuracy on the football. And he stands tall in the pocket. And you always love a quarterback that has mobility. It gets you out of bad plays. That is something that you can't coach. So he gets in the right system, in the right program. He's going to get coached up. He's going to be a phenomenal quarterback in the NFL. Now, you want to keep an eye on some of these quarterbacks right here. Tim Hiller is a guy that in the beginning of the season, some people had him pegged as a second-round, third-round pick sleeper. But he has good size, good production. He just reminds me a lot of Trent Edwards. He, you know, a quick pop on the pass, but he doesn't really have that arm strength that you want out of quarterback. Tyler Sheehan, a quarterback out of Bowling Green, had an awesome receiver to throw to in Freddie Barnes. But this is a guy that plays with confidence, swagger, good arm strength, good accuracy on a deep ball. A lot, of, a lot of tools you can work with as a coach. Zach Robinson is another guy out of Oklahoma State. Athletic. Mobility is a key attribute for this guy. I always wondered if he could play another position as well, too. But he's a good, he's that good of an athlete. A lot of potential with this guy. You can get him. He can help you out in a pinch one or two games. So he has a lot of development left in football. So he's going to do well with whatever system he goes to. Max Hall, a guy that doesn't have the arm strength, but is super intelligent. Coming out of a passing system, that is going to help him out a lot. He 
no later than a fifth round pick for Mr. Max Hall. And like, I really like Rusty Smith out the Sun Belt Conference in Florida Atlantic. Guy that plays with a lot of moxies. Coach is a competitor, good arm strength. You know, he reminds me a lot of Jordan Palmer, Carson's brother, out there in Cincinnati. He was a guy that put the Duke program back on the map in football. Thaddeus Lewis, a guy that is smart, intelligent, makes all the throws. Reminds me a lot of Sean King when he came out of Tulane. Ran the same offense, but highly productive. He, he wasn't talking Duke football until Mr. Lewis got there, along with David Cutcliffe. Well-coached kid, smart guy. He's going to be a future coach someday. And the small college prospects, these are guys that will surprise some teams. Pat Grace. Like, some people are not high on Pat Grace, but I like Pat Grace. He's tough. He runs with the football. He's good moxie, you know. But the thing is, he lacks the arm strength. He also lacks... That accuracy that you want, it reminds me a lot of Rodney Pete. Now, this next guy, John Skelton, I really like his potential, his tools, strong arm, big, big guy, 6'5", 250, reminds me a lot of Ryan Leaf, skills-wise. Now, we there are questions of his work ethic. Does he want to get better? And that's the thing. If he can have, if he can match his work ethic with his potential and his skill set, he is a steal. This is a true quarterback a pure pass in the sense ryan parallel another guy that left lsu off the field issues this is a guy that has a strong arm mobility so he can be coached up because his best football is in front of him is the off the field issues out of the way if so this is another you know steal for some teams a good project player for any coach now the most intriguing intriguing prospect in this draft is tim tebow we've talked about it ad nauseum tim tebow is a good leader his, his skills are unquestioned his running ability the way he leads, competitiveness is all unquestioned. The question mark is everything else. The passing of Tim, P Tim T Tebow, the elongated, the the elongated uh, release point, the inaccuracies, the the strength on the on the deep passes. That is a question mark. He has to find a way to get that fixed if he wants to be a pro quarterback.